r slash askreddit by Redmond Dites. What are some harmless ways to mess with people? Carefully step over a non-existing obstacle. Do this at a crosswalk when the cars stop too close. Say no pun intended after a sentence where there was clearly no pun. When you shake someone's hand, move yours left to right. As they do the traditional up and down, a hilarious circle ensues. I put a tiny piece of masking tape over my co-worker's mouse laser on April Fool's Day one year, wrote April Fool's on it. He troubleshot every single thing except examining the mouse. He eventually called IT who simply turned the mouse over and pointed it out to him. Plug in a second mouse, leave it under their desk but so you can reach it with your foot. Kick it occasionally. Don't turn around when you walk into a lift. When having a conversation during a meal, specifically only ask questions to people that are chewing. Edit to at, I was never a server. But had this taught to me by a dear friend of mine years ago when we used to eat in a public cafeteria and mess with people we just met. Whenever I visit my extended family across the country, I bring a bag full of random remotes that I don't use anymore. Just random remotes that go to old SVRs or anything really. Just hide them around their house, they only recently caught on. If I know someone is walking a little ways behind me and I turn a corner with nobody else around I like to run 10-20 steps to widen the gap and then laugh to myself thinking that the person behind me will be confused. I doubt anyone ever notices but I get a kick out of it every time. I know someone who always takes an item to a party and leaves it somewhere in the house, that is a trinket or chargic. When driving I like to wave at random people as if I knew them. Hilarious to see instant confusion on their faces. Say high five to someone, but don't put your hand up. When I was a corrections officer we had a guy who worked with us who was kind of a dong to everyone, and he was computer illiterate. We took a screenshot of his desktop and moved all of his icons off of it so it looked legit but nothing worked. It took him an hour before he finally called IT and they figured it out pretty quickly. He wouldn't talk to any of us for about a week. My grandpa does this thing where he stops in the busy street and starts staring into the sky as if he's seen something amazing. It doesn't take long for other people to stop and stare too. Once he's reaches critical mass he quietly slips away chuckling to himself. Edit. He's in his 90s now but when he was a teenager he was a bit of a young tear away and had a pet monkey. Which is weird considering this was the UK. Edit 2. Holy crap this blew up overnight. And on my cake day too. I saw someone on Facebook comment on a picture that the three of you look great. There were four people in the picture. The movie theater in my town is usually mostly empty. There's been a couple of times when I've come in to get seated and there's literally only one other person in my auditorium. There's an evil part of me that wants to just go sit right next to them. Not illegal, but it should be. It works best if you are standing, but use your judgment, gradually lower the volume of your voice. Others will match your volume and they tend to move closer. Wait for your moment and just start speaking in a normal or slightly louder than normal voice. My mother and grandmother do this but the other way around. Every family get together turns into them casually shouting across the room to each other. My dad used to have this game with a friend. They embarrassed me endlessly when I was a teen. But that was a bonus. Basically, when they were walking in the street, whenever they were passing someone, they would say things like, Remember, when you pushed your mother-in-law down the stairs? Or, I mean, it wasn't that much drug, usually I carry way more than that. Or, where did you hide the knife after stabbing him? You get the idea, anything absolutely awful as if they were having an entire conversation about drugs, murder, whatever. My dad and his friend had the whole hippie look as well, so innocent passers-by would quickly cross the street. There was a story on Reddit a while back where a guy was refilling his wife's ketchup bottle so that it was constantly almost empty. For months, years, she would use the same bottle and he waited for the day she noticed that it never emptied. She bounced the bottle off his head when he revealed his game. This one is harmless but occasionally can drive someone mad. My mom has a bunch of framed family photos hanging on a wall. 
One day I was visiting I took them all down and scanned them with a little hand scanner. I photoshopped small changes on them, removed some people from some photos, added a couple of celebrities in the background, etc. Print them out and replaced them a few days later. I can't forget her face when she realized it was me and she was not losing it. Another goodie is to change one of the pictures with some famous person. My favorite is to swap a picture of my sister with a picture of Kim Jong Un smiling. My neighbor got an expensive new camera for his front door. Randomly, for the last several months, I have covered myself in a black cloak, including face, crawled up into camera view, and left a random harmless object. A carrot, spool of thread, three ink pens with the caps mixed up the meaningless things. On camera, a dark shape appears and disappears leaving a random object behind. It is driving his silly ass crazy. I love mistakenly pronouncing words mid-sentence only to pronounce them correctly moments later. One thing I do is when someone asks directions, I say something like, if you take a left out of the parking lot, and go down to the light, then turn right, you'll be going the wrong direction. It's actually, give correct directions. Use landmarks that aren't there anymore or things only locals will know. Turn right where the big oak tree used to be, take the next road to the left after you pass the Flanders farm. When at work, tell someone, I'm going to the bathroom do you need anything? When someone knocks on the public washroom door you are in, respond with come in. When someone is talking to you look right over top of their head. Keep the conversation going but look right over them. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.